According to the federal government, the cost of living right now is up 1.8% this year, but our next guest says lawmakers might want to check their math. In his index, the cost of living is actually up 10%, especially on the items that we all buy. Ed Butowski is managing partner of Chapwood Investments and joins us live. Good morning to you. Great. I'm, I'm happy we're doing this. Uh, okay, so right now, the government, federal government says the consumer price index is 1.8%, which sounds like a great number, but according to the Chapwood Index, mm -hmm. an index you've got, you say it's closer to 10. Yeah, I mean, this, this number the CPI the government puts out, it has been manipulated since 1983. And, and they do this for one reason, to reduce the amount of money that they have to pay out in entitlement programs, social security payments. And by manipulating that number down, they pay out less. But here's the negative impact. People are committing as a result of following this number right. with their wages and social security payments and you know, increases, they're committing government-assisted financial suicide. Okay. Because we all have our own cost of living increase. Absolutely. So you, for a number of years you have put together this thing you contacted a, a bunch of your friends and clients and that's asked right them, what do you actually buy as opposed to the uh, con the federal number these are things that we all buy and take a look at the prices brisket up 78 percent lettuce up 54 percent sugar 49 bacon 20 frozen yogurt 17 we got another one ibuprofen generic brand is up 27 percent and oil change is up 25 napkins are up 22 mm -hmm. Kleenex is 9.9 .9. a movie ticket is eight that is way different than the federal government's number of 1.8 ed right well what my index does is we take the top 500 items that most Americans spend money on and now look this is not perfect but it, uh, the reason I put this together is to get people to start becoming aware that why is it that when I get they get a raise of two or three percent their real cost of living is going up maybe eight to ten percent and I think it's important imperative that people in my business, we start bringing awareness to this, we start targeting investment portfolios for better returns and sure. not accepting this number. And you say that the number that the government puts out there right now, 1.8, is manipulated by the government so the government doesn't have to pay out to us as much. Yeah, there, there's absolutely no question about it. Everyone knows this. And if you ask any person on the street, everyone watching right now knows that the, in order to keep consistent with the year before, their costs have gone up a lot more than 1.8%. It's not just, um, you know, it's not just food and energy, taxes. Sure. Think about how much taxes have gone up. That is not included in CPI. Your insurance is not included. So everyone needs to, and I ask my clients to do this. Go out and figure out what it cost you this year versus last year. Since they didn't do it, none of my right. clients actually went out and did that. I decided I'll create my own index. So I've been doing this for four years. I updated every six months. What's your website? It's uh, this is chapwoodindex.com. I make okay. no money on it. It's just my gift to this country. All right. Uh, well, it's an eye opener. Yeah, it is. Ed Butaski, thank you very much. Thanks, Steve.